Luckily, we have a new sponsor, one that aligns with our values. Tampax. <laughs> Let's talk Tampax. Okay. That part wasn't actually in the book, so how did we land on tampons as Subret 6's major sponsorship in the end? It was a lot of conversation about what would be the elegant way to get out of this situation that she's in, and what would be the revolution for Elizabeth in that. And she's um, a very practical person. They are soft, durable, and hygienic. Please look under your seat. There's a present for you. That would definitely be a taboo product that she would not understand why it's taboo in any way because it's a very yeah. natural human function. For the men watching who haven't bothered to ask about menstruation, I'll explain it to you. It is the process where blood discharges from the lining of the uterus in intervals of one lunar month. Once we understood that, we were able to pull apart, like, with her mind, how would that work? It just felt, it was just perfect to me. You have a look on your face, what is it? Clarity. She said she had achieved clarity right before that moment, but we didn't really get to see all of those things click together. So was it just that last conversation with Harriet or how did she become kind of this new version of Elizabeth? You know, have you ever just had a moment of brilliance? <laughs> have you ever just, it happens to me sometimes. I never I'll be have. thinking about something really hard and then I walk maybe to the fridge and then it's like, it hits and it organizes. I feel like her mind works like that where there's actually all of these things that have been going on that you've seen little bits of throughout the series. And it's just kind of all been going there in the back of her mind. And then it just, like like the scientist that she is, it just the moment of brilliance comes. Calvin, turn the music off. And then she has this exuberance and enthusiasm because she knows it's the right choice, it's the right thing to do. And she's now freed herself while also acknowledging and allowing the show to continue to live and to continue to be this thing, that it doesn't have to be an either or that it can still be this thing that's empowering and will empower others, and she can empower herself. It's just the perfect blend. And with that, let's discuss glazed ham. So as a feminist icon, what would Elizabeth Zott think of the current girl dinner trend? Oh, well, I do think she would find it preposterous, honestly. I just don't think that really? she would. Really? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, it kind of depends. Why? I mean, well, because it's just a bunch of random flavors together, isn't it? This is revolting. Isn't that my understanding yes, of Girl Dinner? Like it's just like whatever you have. No, listen, hi, it's Brie here, not Elizabeth. I think Girl Dinner is important, okay? But for a scientist, I think she would probably be like, these things don't go together. <laughs> yeah. these are, this is not how you plate a meal. Good food is not a hobby. It, it is community, it is family, and it is essential. 